don't know whether you know the meaning of impunity. What, what is called impunity? It, impunity basically means someone can do anything they want to you and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what impunity means. In our actually traditional folklore, there's a story about impunity. It's a folk tale, so never mind whether animals speak or not, whether males uh, lay eggs or not. It was said that the hare, those who don't know the hare, that's like a rabbit. So the hare went to visit his sister. His sister was married to Mr. Crocodile. And Mr. Crocodile was the one that had laid the eggs. Somehow, Mr. Hare, a brother-in-law to Mr. Crocodile, landed on the eggs and found them to be a delicacy. So he started feasting on them. Mr. Crocodile got suspicious and decided that he needed to go and count his eggs just to a certain. And that was the day Mr. Hare was saying goodbye to leave. And Mr. Crocodile was the one supposed to give Mr. Hare a lift because there was a river across which they needed to travel. And the crocodile would carry Mr. Hare on his back. But before Mr. Crocodile could go to count the eggs, Mr. Hare volunteered and said, don't bother brother-in-law. Let me do the counting for you. He had eaten all the eggs but one. So he would pick one egg and he presents it at the door, counting. One, then he goes back, comes back with the same egg. Two, goes back in, comes back with the same egg three, up to whatever number the eggs were supposed to be. Mr. Crocodile was impressed, thanked his brother-in-law for counting the eggs, and he was sure they were all there. So, Mr. Hare said goodbye to his sister, and his brother-in-law, Mr. Crocodile, went with him to the edge of the water, Mr. Hare climbed on Mr. Crocodile's back and the ride began to cross the river. Meanwhile, Mr. Hare's sister was suspicious because she knew her brother. She went and discovered that there was not a single egg left. So she started singing as we normally do in our folk tales. Nyang, 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 bola foe pia, foe mokotoi, which means, please drown Mr. Hare. He has eaten all your eggs. But Mr. Hare was in the water, he could not hear. But he could, uh, sorry, Mr. Crocodile was in the water, he could not hear. But he could hear faintly the voice of his wife screaming. Like a good brother-in-law, he asked his brother-in-law, Mr. Hare, what is my wife saying? Mr. Hare said, your wife says that there's a storm coming. Please swim faster. We don't need to let this storm find us before we have crossed. So they crossed. And when Mr. Hare was safely on the other side, and Mr. Crocodile was now crossing back, Mr. Hare lifted the one egg which had remained and taunted Mr. Crocodile. Mr. Crocodile, hey, I've eaten all your eggs and there's nothing you can do about what I've done. Then he ran off. You know crocodiles are rather slow on land. Now, that is